Good evening, everyone. This is Manas Patnaik, teacher, mechanical engineer, and most importantly, a very, very passionate learner. First of all, thank you to all the coordinators at IIT Kharagpur for inviting me to share my thoughts on this year's event, that is, be the change. Look, I firmly believe that my teaching journey completely subscribes to this point of view. And I'm going to be listing out my experiences through five core ideas which pretty much encapsulates the, the essence of the theme itself. So, fasten your seat belts as this is going to be a joy ride. Here we go. Core idea number one and that's attitude. How shall I begin? I'm not so good at storytelling, you know. Uh, let's start. Back in the year 2009, when I started my teaching journey, the first assignment that I had to take was engineering drawing. Okay, that is teaching engineering drawing to the first year students. Now, this, this really came as a surprise as this is a subject on a different level. You need better explanation skills. You have to be very good with your hand in terms of making drawings, making clear cut drawings on the green board or the blackboard, whatever you may call it. But, but the first thing that I had to face was hesitancy. Okay, I, I really took a step back and I said to my seniors that, sir, it is not possible for me to take this engineering drawing subject at least at this point in my life okay when i become confident with other subjects then you 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 can hand it over to me and then i can do justice to it but they were pretty much confident that manas you can take this no problem whatsoever so i said okay okay let's start day number one of my class when i went there and i started teaching the concept to students and i started writing you know i written I had almost written three to four words. I started from this point on the board and I don't know what happened. My hand kept on sloping downwards. You start from a certain point, okay, from the left hand side of the board and you keep on writing and you realize that you are absolutely on a downhill. That's when I realized that teaching is not so easy. Okay. So the guy who is sitting in front of you used to fear engineering drawing at a point in his life. And now the same guy has taught this very subject, this complex subject to more than lakh of students worldwide, mostly in India. Though. Anyway, so it's very important in life to conquer your fears. And how do you conquer all your fears? You work hard. You continuously push yourself day in and day out. Work hard on it. Okay, so I usually used to sit in this engineering mechanics lab. It used to have a green board and I kept on practicing my drawings. Okay, whenever you, I used to have free time, I used to practice my drawings and that's how I've conquered my fears. Okay, things started shaping up beautifully. I started communicating well. In the first six months only, I started realizing that, yes, students are able to receive whatever knowledge I'm trying to impart to them. I could clearly see that they were able to make precise drawings. Although I wasn't very good at making drawings in my first year of assignment, but they were. They were able to use those instruments beautifully. They were able to uh, make the transition from the roller scale uh, to the compass and from the compass to the protractor very, very well. So communication is also very important. Again, it's all in the attitude. Okay, if I hesitated, if, if I had been stubborn that, sir, I am not going to take this subject because there were other subjects in the first year of engineering also. There was engineering mechanics, there was thermodynamics i could have said so it is better to deal with moments couples and forces okay stresses pressures these concept these uh, sort of concepts are rather easy to convey i would say i mean as far as my teaching experience is concerned it is arguable you may argue with me that's a uh, <laughs> conveying the concept of stresses and pressure is is really difficult but again Engineering drawing is on a different level altogether. You need better communication skills. You need good drawing skills. You need good presentation. And you should be very, very articulate. You should be very, very brief in whatever you are trying to convey. So that's the first block. And it was hesitancy. And how did I counter hesitancy? I changed my attitude. And I said that I'm going to work, work and work until I'm comfortable with it. Core idea number two. And that's perfection with flow. Okay, now obviously you guys must be thinking that sir, nobody is perfect. You can never be perfect. Agreed, nobody can be perfect. But it is this process of achieving perfection that one becomes very, very robust 
and very very strong in 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 their fundamentals and concepts it's very important to approach perfection okay and it is this process which is going to keep on honing your skills you know in the previous section i told you that i wasn't able to write along a horizontal fashion or i wasn't able to make horizontal and vertical lines perfectly but things are going to change big time and with practice with with continuous effort i'll always say this with continuous effort you need to keep on making that flow happen what you can do is you can receive achieve perfection okay now i started realizing that i'm making drawings better in this semester than the previous one and this when you see yourself making better drawings you you your confidence level grows exponentially in the second year of my career uh, there were students who used to take pictures of my drawing and that's when i realized drawings are getting better and that's when i took out my smartphone and took pictures of my own drawings and i have a huge collection you can see all of these things right from orthographic projection projection of point line whatever you may call it i took pictures of almost each and every problem or every each and every drawing that i had made on the green board and it was really very very satisfying the second thing that i want to talk about is the lecture flow i'm sure you must be watching movies and web series you know there are chapters or parts and very recently i saw this movie called back to the future 1 2 and 3 there are there were certain elements in part 1 which had to be taken to part 2 and then suspense was revealed and the same thing happened from uh, when you make the transition from part 2 to part 3 there is a proper channel there is a proper flow which the director strives to make and try to and tries to connect all the dots in the same fashion we as teachers should be able to maintain that flow from one chapter to the other this transition from chapter to chapter should be absolutely smooth so the way you make your teaching plans should be designed in such a fashion and this is an iterative process let me tell you all the teachers who will be watching this video i'm sure they will be able to relate to this the first time that you teach any particular any subject uh, <clears throat> you are very raw it's like it's like eating it's like eating a mango which is which is very raw initially but once you let it sit on the dining table for some time let's say for a day or two it becomes sweet isn't it so nurturing something takes time and so is teaching okay initially you are raw but eventually eventually you are going to get better sweetness uh, is something that that a man eating the food strives for and similarly maturity conciseness is something that a teacher strives for okay so before we go ahead with this session all the five core ideas that i'll be discussing are not just applicable in businesses or jobs and careers they are pretty much applicable along all the different domains of life even even relationships okay you always try to become a better son to a mother a better father to your daughter and a better husband to your wife always nobody can be perfect again agreed but again it is this process of achieving or striving for perfection that is going to make your life easier core idea number 3 and that's upgrading yourself let's say you happen to be the director of a manufacturing unit of a cell phone company initially cell phones were just used for calling and texting or let's say smsing but later on with the advent of technology and with the development advancement they added a camera as an accessory people click pictures they wanted more from their pictures in terms of the quality the resolution the clarity they wanted to make sure that they can zoom in at a particular section properly they wanted to make sure that they can they can have a better sensors so that the resolutions can be increased so with all of these things the number of cameras were increased let's say from one rear camera and now i have seen that cell phones have as many as four rear cameras <laughs> amazing isn't it now people also were interested in clicking their own photos which they found difficult with the help of a rear camera so they thought why not use the front camera and that's how front camera was introduced so three rear cameras at the back one front camera you do see so many upgradation is taking place with reference to a product the product is a cell phone in the same fashion as a human being we also need to keep on upgrading ourselves 
just like you invest money in a product if you're in a job and if you are upgrading yourself and then definitely your director your boss is going to invest in you okay he is definitely going to have a very good relationship with you and not just jobs now let 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 me not restrict this talk to jobs and careers even in businesses you need to know you need to be able to predict what kind of changes your product will be going through in the upcoming future initially there used to be cassettes then cds then dvds and now it's all pen drives you should be able to see the change that is taking place it's very very important so as far as my teaching goes i initially used to use a chalk and a green board and that's it but i realized it very soon that with the advancement of technology with autocad coming into the picture and a lot of universities back then in south india started teaching engineering drawing with the help of softwares like autocad i thought why not implement the same in my state of chatisgarh and that's exactly what i did i started making all of those drawings on the software itself and i used to show it to all of those students my students i mean in my lecture hall through a projector and i got a terrific response because whenever i wanted i could zoom in zoom out i could use all the tools uh, which were at my disposal on the autocad uh, workspace and it was a wonderful session so this was something that i really wanted to explain to you guys why upgradation is important not just limit yourself to one software if you have a good hold on one software go one step high okay learn a much more advanced software this process of learning and sharing learning and sharing is something that all of us should be a part of core idea number 4 and that's can i become the best ever since i finished 6 to 7 years in this profession of teaching i this question always tinkled inside my head said can i become the best can i become the best so are you challenging yourself keep always keep on challenging yourself and that's how you can get better and better this question actually started my youtube journey i uploaded my first video this was based on orthographic projection and i got some comments i got some likes and i got some subscriptions as well right very few but yes that's that's true but students also commented that they want videos on other topics also they want more examples so whatever they asked i kept on making videos for the next two years they said so we want videos on vernier scales okay here it is vernier scales we want videos on perspective projection here it is so it took me almost two and a half to three years to complete the entire course of engineering drawing but i finished each and every topic from engineering drawing if you just take a look at this playlist on youtube i have more than 150 videos on engineering drawing itself i have covered all the topics okay and i've tried to explain it in such a simple fashion that even if you don't have any knowledge whatsoever as far as geometrical construction is concerned don't worry i'm going to help you right and with this my engineering drawing journey finished and then i thought why not take up more subjects then i started with engineering mechanics then i finished engineering mechanics i started with mechanics of materials these things really helped me become and grow as a teacher i started developing more skills i started also learning other software such as um, adobe photoshop i also started learning some video editing softwares i mean as you keep on growing if you have that hunger automatically automatically you become part of that change and that's the theme that has been decided by iit kharagpur for this year be the change so keep on changing yourself and always become the better version of yourself right so can i become the best ask this question to yourself and start working on it core idea number 5 and that's learning should never stop does not matter how much experience you've had does not matter how much skills you've acquired over the years what matters is not to be complacent and always keep an hunger for learning more and more learning the more you learn the better you get that's that's the mantra that i have been following ever since i started my career and one more suggestion to all the young budding people who will be taking jobs in the year 2022 2023 remember the first few years of your career whichever profession you are in even if you are in business try to learn skills try to gain knowledge as much as possible remember all of these things will come in very very handy in the long run 
Okay, there are going to be setbacks. Life, as I say, is like a sinusoidal curve. Sometimes peaks, sometimes valley. But in the longer run, if you have that hunger for knowledge and for skills, remember, you will be in for a longer run. So all the points that I've discussed in today's session, I'm sure these are going to help you transform into a better version, a better avatar of yourself. Thank you.